how the former IT student ended up in the house of the rapper at their Newbury neighborhood Woodley Estate would perhaps make part of initial investigations by detectives. And it is a death matrix that now drags one of Kenya's most established rappers, Henry Ohanga, popularly referred to as Octopizo. Witness accounts point to Octopizo assaulting the young man for a couple of minutes Thursday afternoon, forcing the teenager to jump from the fourth floor of their house after he threatened him with a panga. Those who know Kenneth says he had a strong interest to venture into music and art, and when Octopizo settled in the neighborhood, his dream had just moved closer. His father, Agre Abom, is convinced that the death of his son was not by an accident. You can see from yourself what is here. This is not a head, a cut of this nature. Is that a head? It is here to here, at this point. He took a blunt object there. At the time of the happening, neighbors say they noticed a lady in Octopizo's house, but it's not clear whether the late Kenneth was invited into the house. KTN's crimes unit contacted the artist over the death claims. Well, the neighbor that was there, that you saw everything that was there when the boy came out running, and even the neighbor who grabbed him and said, like, hey, I know this kid, he's from here. And then he just took his stuff and went to their house. And like an hour later, we had him jump. He was very arrogant to us. Huh? If he knew that this boy may be something wrong with him, he should have even come to the family. Pole, what happened? I did not know this and this. He has not. And he was very arrogant. Yesterday he called uh, bouncers there. The family now says they are keenly waiting for the autopsy report before they press charges against the artist. Octopizo, who emerged from Kenya's largest slime Kibera, is a hip-hop artist and an ambassador for awareness on violence against women and girls. Francis Ontomwa, KTN News, Nairobi.